Hey, Patrick with the Kentucky Gun Company. We're at Six Hour, and Sig has some new products they want to show us this year. These will definitely be in our showrooms. Actually, some of these have already started shipping, I believe. Absolutely, 320 shipping. What do we got on the far as 320 in general? All right, so what I want to show you, so I want to just kind of go over what we have here with the 320. So the 320 is our striker fire gun. And some key things behind that striker fire gun are this. So I got one right here for you. Can you talk about this? So this here is our carry model with a full size grip. It's gonna come in nine mil, 357, 40, 45. All right? Some key features behind this, one was safety with the end user in mind about disassembled, cleaning the gun. One thing was you don't have to press the trigger in order to disassemble it. Second thing is the takedown lever will not function without the magazine and the gun locked to the rear. So I, if I just take the magazine out, again, I can't disassemble, lock it to the rear, then that takedown lever will function and I can go ahead and disassemble the gun. Gotcha. All right. Once I disassemble the gun, kind of looking here, stainless steel slide, stainless steel frame. So it's not a polymer gun, it's a steel gun. It's a stainless steel gun, but what we have is polymer grip sizes to fit the shooter's hand. So the big thing here is that we want the gun to fit the shooter's hand. We have full size, carry, and compact sizes. Each module comes small, medium, or large so that we can fit the gun to the shooter's hand and based upon their knees as far as the size of the gun. Gotcha. All right. Tactile reset, you can feel it. You can fire this weapon, you can feel a good reset if that's something, an option that you want. Uh, so again, this is the 320, and it's our striker fire pistol. And it looks like it comes in a couple different variations. You got Absolutely. compared to barrel, dark earth model. There's your compact, I would say. So here's your subcompact, here's your compact, and then we got full size down here. Just give you an idea of what that kind of looks like. All right, let's talk about the next product. Now, you guys showed this last year, and I think, you know, the MPX. And uh, it didn't come out, but I think you redefined it, redesigned a couple little things, and tweaked it to make it right when you did bring it out. What you know, what, it's like any anything, right? Uh, gun comes out, you're gonna continuously look at it. How can we make it better? What options can we do? What are the end users saying that they need us to do better? And then we're gonna do that with all the products, just like the 320 came out first with nine mil. Now we have a 40, 357, 45 coming out. Uh, so I mean, we just continue to, like anybody, we're going to continue to make the product better for everybody. Sure. But we can show you the MPX if you want to take a look at that. So the MPX, again, the, the thing behind the MPX is it's a sub gun, right? Uh, the overall is this though, a submachine gun with AR style controls. I mean, that's that's the big deal. You know, uh, a lot of the sub guns that were out there were just difficult. They were superb guns, um, but there was always improvements, just like anything. Uh, so what we have here is a sub gun that comes in. 9 mil, 40, 357. We can get a four and a half, six and a half, eight inch, or 16 inch barrel. Obviously below that 16 inch, we're gonna have an SBR, right? Or a pistol. Right, or a pistol. Uh, the thing here is that the internal mechanisms are all you know, kept up in the upper receiver, which allows us to have different options with our, our butt stocks, whether it's no butt stock, or a folding stock, the pistol brace, or a telescoping uh, shoulder stock for you. So again, all different options for you there. All you got to do is simply loosen the screw, slide it on, slide it off, whatever you need to do. The other thing is when we made it so that it had AR style controls, we extended the slide catch or bolt catch, excuse me, bolt catch a little bit for us, make it a little bit easier. But what we also did is we have it so it's ambi. So I can have a ambi release on the magazine. On the right hand side of the gun, again, there's my mag release, but I also have a bolt release. Not a bolt catch on both sides, but we can release it from either side. And then an ambidextrous safety as well. Well, the other thing is to increase the longevity behind the gun was we know where the wear points are when it, this style of gun. So if you look back here, if you want to zoom in on this, these pins right here are replaceable. Right here, it just has the, the charging handle with the latch on one side. There is an ambidextrous latch that's going to be coming out. And instead of wearing on the actual receiver, it wears on those pins, which are replaceable. So it's, again, extend the longevity of the weapon system. Again, on the side of the receiver with a cam, rubs on the side of the receiver, we can replace that wear point. Again, extending the life of the weapon system just by having those replaceable wear points. That's pretty cool. Different. All right, number one question that all the consumers have asked for the past year, and they're definitely gonna ask again when they see this video, 
When are these coming to the market? Currently, what's going to be shipping? Models that support the PSB here, right? Uh, your short barrel rifles are, are going to be shipping, and those are going to be the options. Down the road, we're going to start shipping the 16 inch barrel as well. Gotcha. Uh, not exact sure on that date, but definitely on the uh, eight and a half inch barrels. So you, you heard it here, they are actually shipping. And of course, you'll find these when they do ship at kygunco.com.